What is the difference between the composition and the sound recording? Hiya, here we are again with our Music Industry in 5 Minutes or Less video series. I'm Renee Meredith, the COO of Exploration Group, and today I'm going to explain what is the difference between the composition and the sound recording. The composition is the intangible collection of notes, melodies, phrases, rhythms, lyrics, and harmonies that make up a song. That's not really the best definition I know, but really a composition is all the underlying parts of a song that you hear as music. When a composition is fixed into a tangible medium, such as sheet music or a sound recording, then you can send it off to the copyright office and copyright it. So then what is a sound recording? The sound recording, or sometimes what's called the master recording, or the master, is the fixing of a composition into a tangible audio medium. This could be a digital file, a vinyl recording, or even something like a cassette tape. Here's an example. Let's say you're going to record a cover of Aerosmith's Walk This Way. You know the composition of the song, and you can perform it in the studio. No matter what you do in covering that song in the studio, it doesn't change who the owners or the writers of the composition are. That's always going to be Steven Tyler and Joe Perry. The sound recording you make in the studio, your performance of the song fixed into a tangible medium of a digital file by the engineer, is the sound recording, and you own it. Here's the next part. Compositions and sound recordings both must be licensed before you can distribute them in any way. Now that you have your awesome cover recording of Walk This Way, you want to distribute it and make money from your music. Since you own the sound recording, you can consider that license from yourself. However, you still need to make sure to get the mechanical licensing in place from the music publishers who represent the composition on behalf of Perry and Tyler. As the songwriters, they are due a royalty for any units of your sound recording that you sell. When you distribute on the DSPs like Spotify, Amazon Music, or Pandora, then the DSP is responsible for making sure that the mechanical royalties are paid to the songwriters. Now let's say HBO wants to license your sound recording of Walk This Way for the next episode of Doom Patrol. HBO will need to get a license from you as the sound recording owner. And they will also need to get a license from the music publisher for the use of the composition. Both licenses have to be in place for that type of use. Thank you all for watching. For more information about compositions and sound recordings, check out the links in the description below. And don't forget to click subscribe for more videos from Exploration Group.